Firefighters from three communities are battling a fire at this hour in Prior Lake. The fire apparently started in a business with apartments above it. That's on Main Avenue Southeast. So far, no reports of any injuries. Of course, we'll follow up on that and we'll have more information for you tomorrow night. And complex in Prior Lake are homeless after fire gutted their apartment building today. At first, smoke made it relatively tough on the firefighters. Then flames swept through the entire building. It took crews nearly four hours to bring the fire under control. One resident says that he went through the door to make sure everything was out. There's only eight apartments up there, so... And uh, we managed to get the one uh, woke up and come out there. And by the time we went back up there to see if the old man was up there, we couldn't get up in the hallway again. It was too smoky. Now, four businesses downstairs were also very, very damaged. The cause has not yet been determined. As in, Prior Lake residents are trying to rebuild their lives devastated by fire. Nicole Nemi reports that firefighters from six cities were called to battle the block-long blaze, but for some, they were called too late. Everything's gone. Nothing's left. My neighbor banged on the door about 8, 8.30. Told me it was fire. Black, dark smoke. It just maybe it choke you out. The cause of the fire that swept through downtown Prior Lake is still undetermined, but the effects are apparent. No insurance. We live week by week, so there wasn't, you know, you can't afford stuff. Raymer thought it was her lucky day when her boss gave her twins tickets. I'm going to give them a big kiss and tell them thank you. They probably saved, saved our lives. I don't know if we would have made it out. Bob Martins considers himself lucky. For the past 36 years, he's owned the lumber yard next door. Thankful, very thankful. The boys did an excellent job of saving our business. We really appreciate it. But some business owners weren't that fortunate. Boots Buckeye has owned the hair club for 20 years. This weekend, she drove her daughter to Colorado to begin college. When Buckeye gets home, her sister has some bad news for her. She'll rebuild in a year. How do you know? Because it's her livelihood. She has to do that. The building was one of the original structures in this small town, and this Labor Day weekend will always be remembered as the weekend that Prior Lake lost a little bit of its history. With photographer John Overby, this is Nicole Namey for Primetime News. A fund has been set up at Prior Lake State Bank for the victims. Donations should be sent to Dakota and Maine Fire Relief Fund, P.O. Box 369, Prior Lake, Minnesota. The zip code is 55372. Town Prior Lake and required more than 80 firefighters to battle it last night. Prior Lake is in the southwest metro area. No one was injured in the fire, but families lost pets and personal possessions, including almost all the children's new back-to-school clothing. Firefighters from Prior Lake, Shakopee, Savage, and Newmarket spent several hours trying to gain control of the fire that started sometime after 8 last night. Having that, that roof fall in, we can't get any uh, water from the both aerials to uh, get down in. As soon as it burns down a little bit more, then we'll be able to get up on the upper level windows with our uh, ladders and hand lines and be able to put more water on the fire and try to get it completely out. Prior Lakes Fire Chief says he was worried the fire would spread to adjacent buildings. If uh, that wall to the south of that building would have collapsed and fell out, you know, out towards the lumberyard, uh, very possibly we could have lost the lumber yard and had the fire extend all the way through, you know, towards the end of town there. The firefighters contained the blaze to the one building. The 12 tenants say they lost all their possessions. They'd just gotten done with school shopping and school supplies and everything. He's, you know, that's the only new outfit he's got. And he begged me to wear that outfit last night. So I said, sure, go ahead. Now I'm kind of glad I did. Three people were in the building when the fire started. They got out safely. We heard some tinkling on the pipes, and I thought it was a neighbor guy just playing around or doing something with him. And my youngest kid went out in the hall to check out what was going on. And uh, he smelled smoke. The cause of the fire has not been determined. Arson is not suspected. It's not safe enough for the tenants to go inside and rummage for their possessions, but a fireman did go in. He found one tenant's car keys. That's about it. He says the rest of it isn't worth looking for. Where were they? They were on the kitchen. The Red Cross is providing assistance to the fire victims. If you would like to help, a fire relief fund is being set up at the Prior Lake State Bank. Just one in a series of Labor Day weekend blazes that has forced more than 30 people out of their homes. Here's Carol Evans' Brad Woodard. 
For a while, it seemed as though the whole street might go. Just when firefighters thought they had the blaze under control, more flames would peek out from some other crevice in the building. Several hours and thousands of gallons of water later, an entire block of Prior Lake's main avenue was reduced to a smoldering heap. Okay, that's the last thing that's really solid. Here we go. The Labor Day holiday has taken on a literal meaning for Roy and John Clay. The father and son toiled all day to salvage what's left of their real estate business. Uh, it kind of hurts when you didn't have any insurance on it. So we'll just have to take care of uh, buying everything new that we need to. But uh, we figured that uh, this is life. We have to live with whatever, we, uh, whatever comes about. In addition to the Clay's office, eight apartments and one other business were casualties of the blaze. The timing couldn't have been worse. Two of the families who live upstairs are out of town for the Labor Day weekend, and the woman who runs this hair salon has taken her daughter to college in Colorado. So far, no one has been able to reach her. It's terrible. I mean, this is everything. You know, this is her business. She's been in the business for 22 years. For Kim Jensen and the others, cleaning up is the easy part. The difficult part is watching the pain felt by their boss when she realizes that in one night, what took her more than two decades to build was destroyed. Brad Woodard, Carol 11 News, Prior Lake. Damage from the fire is estimated at a quarter of a million dollars. Its cause is still under investigation.